in this video, I'll show you how to create a website just like this using DreamHost and WordPress. I'll go over everything step by step to make sure you do the proper optimizations that will make your website faster and more professional. Welcome to Emmet Reviews, where I talk about everything web hosting related. A lot of beginners make mistakes during their first website creation that haunts them throughout the history of the website. So I want to help you avoid all of these mistakes and show you how to do it properly the first time around. To get started, you'll first need to buy a website name and web hosting using DreamHost. You can click the link in the description that will take you to a special website dedicated to my viewers and apply a discount automatically. As you can see here, it says $3.95 for the unlimited plan. But if you click sign up now and choose yearly, it drops to just $2.95 a month. You also get a free website name. So click register a new domain and type in your name. If it's available, click add for $0. Congratulations. Now I'll remove all of the extra add-ons and I'll show you how to do everything manually basically. But what's nice about DreamHost is that they give you privacy protection for free, which is around $12 value with other companies. Finally, just fill out all of the required information and click purchase. Once in your DreamHost dashboard, you'll want to click on WordPress, then one-click installs. Choose Learn More and Install. From this drop-down list, choose your website name and deselect Deluxe Install as well as the Website Builder. Now the not-so-fun part of just waiting. DreamHost will actually install everything for you completely automatically and then will send you an email together with the login information and the confirmation that it's done. For me, this took around 5 minutes. Once the installation is done, click on Websites, then Manage Websites and finally click on WordPress. It should take you to this screen if everything is working. Let's first set a regular password for our WordPress account and get rid of this not secure message at the top. Click on Yes, take me to my profile page, then click on Set New Password. Finally, just type in the password that you want for your WordPress dashboard. Now, keep this window open for later, but go back to your DreamHost panel. Click on Websites, then Manage Website. Click the three dots next to your site and then click on SSL Security. Choose the free option, which is the Let's Encrypt certificate, and just let it do its thing. Now, again, the not-so-fun part of just waiting. But this is necessary for you to have a properly configured website. What a DreamHost does now is it encrypts your website and will change that not-secure message to a green padlock. But just because we're waiting, that doesn't mean we can't be productive. I'll show you how to do other updates in the meantime. Click the Manage Websites button once again. Then select the three dots, then PHP version, and select PHP 8.0 Fast CGI. This will make your site around 10% faster and in general is a good idea to do before you design your site. This process will take around 15 minutes. After this is done, your SSL should be active as well. So we're basically doing two things at once. Okay, once the change is over, go back to your WordPress panel and hover on Plugins. Then select Add New. Type in W3 and install then activate the W3 Total Cache plugin. Once this is done, click on the New Performance tab and click Accept then Next. This plugin will now detect which caching architecture is best for your site. Choose the one with the biggest green numbers, do this for every step and it will basically automatically select the best cache for your site and your plan. Finally, hover on Appearance and then select Themes. 
You'll now need to click Add New Theme. In the search bar, type in Astra. Click Install and Activate. You should immediately see this Get Started button. And in the following menu, you'll need to choose Elementor and then choose the website theme that you like. By the way, pro tip, you can sort them by free only. Once you find something you like, click on Import Complete Site, fill out the required information, click Next, then Skip, and simply wait. Now, by clicking View Site, you can see how your website looks. If you want to change any of this demo content, you can. Just click on Edit with Elementor and go ahead. I'll leave a more detailed guide on how to work with Elementor at the end of this video. But anyways, here you go, this website loads in around 1.3 seconds and scores A's in both performance and structure. Most importantly, it only costs you around $30 and you can fully customize it to your liking. My name is Emmet, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below or come chat with me live on my Discord channel that I'll leave in the description down below. Anyways, good luck with your website, I hope everything went smoothly, I'll see you around.